Now, Michael, when an entrepreneur is looking to sell their MSP, how can they figure out which revenue is the right revenue? What I've typically been saying the last 18 months been doing this is, uh, first, are you an MSP? Everyone's calling himself an MSP, but when we look at the revenue, the percentage of recurring revenue to professional services is way off. So what I would say first and foremost is how much recurring revenue do you have that will quantify of you being an MSP? Typically, I would say 50% of your top line revenue should be recurring revenue, should be contractor revenue. That will really identify you as an MSP. In your contract, in your 50% of recurring revenue, mm -hmm. what is the value uh, of your contractor revenue? So it's important that, you know, it's not only that you're hitting the 50%, is the value per user at the right point in the marketplace. Because these are little key metrics that are going to help you get the most multiple uh, to sell your business. And the last thing is a great gauge I love using is, is understanding uh, revenue per employee. Is Are you overstaffed? Oh. Do you have too many employees? And this goes traditionally for almost every business, but in IT in particular, is a quick identifier of identifying whether you're a VAR or an MSP. And, and you know, I, I typically ask a, a, a company how many employees they have, and uh, the minute they tell me how much recurring revenue they believe they have, I can quickly estimate how much top line revenue they have. So understanding where your revenue per employee is extremely, extremely crucial key metric to understand if you're in the right track of being an MSP or if you're still a traditional bar. These are all factors really that would help a company prepare themselves to get the best multiple to, to sell the business.